Hi guys, um, I'm going to show you how to remove a page link from your top navigation bar. Um, so what I mean by that is if I go to my website here, up the top here, okay, just say I didn't want to show this page. Now in one of my previous videos I showed you how to find a page ID and you're going to need this page ID for this one so I'll put a link to how to find a page ID um, at the bottom of this post okay um, so what we're going to do is I've signed into my dashboard of this website and I'm going to go to appearance and then I'm going to go to editor okay and we've come to the goodies inside here this is the PHP files so what I'm going to do is usually it is in header.php now because we want to edit the menu up the top that's where it usually is now um, I've got a little notepad down here that I've got my little thing written on which I'm going to put into my post as well so this is what we want to search for this string of code so what I'm going to do is just copy this bit WP under dash list pages okay because yours might look a little bit different and we are going to click on here and then I'm going to press control and F on the keyboard and that's going to bring up this find box up the top here and I'm going to paste my little thing in there and it's going to take me straight to it okay um, so what I've done here is I've already got here exclude right I've already changed it and put this in okay um, I'm going to show you the text again so this is what used to be there okay but I actually changed it um, to something like this here okay now what I'm going to do is I'll just show you that that's what I changed it to I'll take that bit away there okay now there it is there that is the text that we want to change it to now this is showing that you're excluding 32 okay I could exclude page 3 um, and 2 okay um, and 10 okay I could do all that now if you have a look at my code in here I'm actually excluding 2 and 3 okay now what I did is paste straight over the top of that code and just pasted this straight over the top of it and then I just add my numbers in there that's all I do we don't want to get too technical now um, just to be safe if it is a little bit different to what you see here um, what I did is I got a notepad and I copied what I was going to remove so just say I was going to remove this I copied it and pasted it onto a new text pad I'll just grab one okay pasted it on there just in case I want to put it back okay and then I went and changed it okay now I can go and change it to whatever I want and then I pressed update okay and um, that's what I did now I'm gonna um, show you how to make this page go away here and it's actually post 16 which I've already checked out so all I'm going to do is come in here put a comma oop, it moved sorry and put 16 in there see that there 2 3 and 16 now update and now I'm going to go and refresh the page and show you that this here disappeared that number 16 page disappeared from here it said Wood Woodford business directory or something okay so now I'm going to go back and put it back again 
So we'll go down to where we were. It's just here. See the number 16 here? We're going to take it out now. Take it out. Backspace. Right, now we're back to what we started with. And we're just here. Okay. We're going to press update. And that means that the page is going to be put back. So let's go back and refresh it. And there it is again. Okay. Um, Alright, I hope that helps anyone. Um, just be aware that every theme is different, so you might need to do something else. Uh, but the best thing you can do is make sure you take a copy of whatever you're doing so you can paste it all back in if you make a mistake. Okay, you could just um, hit in here and click control and A on your keyboard and copy the whole lot okay and paste it into a a notepad for a minute while you're mucking around okay because that will save you a big headache you can just paste it back and um, you know um, your website will be all good again if you do make a mistake alright thanks for watching